what it is, but lately I've been in such a rut when it comes to styling my curls differently and I think I just need to switch it up. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some easy curly hairstyles that I've been loving lately, plus trying some new ones that have just been drifting around on my Pinterest board forever. If you're new, welcome to Lotus Flower Life. My name is Michelle, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you wanna see more curly hair videos from me. Let's just go into the video. You know what's funny? The day I filmed this video, my curls decided to have a little bit of a bad hair day. To rectify the situation, I set some face framing curls in small perm rods. And the first time I set the curls, I used flaxseed gel to mold my hair to the perm rods. Make sure when you're first doing it that you set it that way. As I put my curls on the perm rod, I am wrapping my hair around the perm rod versus rolling the perm rod up my hair. If you don't do this way, the curl shape won't come out the same. Once you reach the end, twist the bottom to lock it in place i let the perm rods air dry overnight and took them out in the morning but of course if you prefer you could just pull face framing hairs without doing this step but using perm rods guarantees that the curl will come out perfect and it is excellent if you're having a bad hair day like i was and to add more of a polished feel to each of these styles After allowing the curls to completely dry, I unravel them gently and then to maintain them throughout the week, I wrap my hair around the perm rod dry every night and then I cover it with a satin wrap to keep the curls nice and bouncy. The first curly hairstyle is inspired by this picture I found of Kehlani on Pinterest. It's got this romantic cascading curls kind of feel to it without looking like she's trying way too hard. Leaving curls out to frame my face, I'm gathering up the rest of my hair towards the top of my head and then tying that in place with a satin scrunchie. And this is just going to protect my curls from breakage while it's up in the bun. You'll want to pull and adjust the hair tie until it's in the right spot. To make this bun as big as possible, I'm adding in my old beat up hair donut. The bigger the hair donut, the better this curly updo will look. I just upgraded mine to a satin one that I found on Etsy that's so much better than the one I'm using in the video. But by all means, use what you already have on hand. I adjusted my curls to completely cover the donut and put a hair tie over the base of the donut. After that, just wrap the curls around the base of your bun and pin it in place with bobby pins. It doesn't need to be wrapped tight, just gently wrap it around the donut, leaving the ends free to add to the romantic feel of this bun. After I found this picture on Pinterest, I was immediately reminded of Baby Spies from the Spice Girls. In my opinion, this style looks even more beautiful with the added shape and volume of naturally curly hair. This look is super easy to replicate. In the picture, she had her curls smoothed out at the top and left the pigtails out curly. But I'm not going to do that because number one, realistically, I don't like rewetting my hair to restyle it throughout the week. This is about day four hair. And number two, I generally don't do super smooth, tighter styles on my head. So I wanted to see if this would work without rewetting my hair and smoothing the top down and to me the trick to this style looking pulled together without smoothing all of your hair down is laying your baby hairs and i've already laid mine down with flaxseed gel but if you're curious i did make a full tutorial on how i lay my edges you can watch it by clicking on the card up above i'm tying each side towards the top of my head using these ouchless hair ties and these ones are pretty gentle and they don't rip your hair out but full transparency i divided my hair in half without doing any type of parting because i knew i would take it out later for the next style but I actually don't mind how it came out because it looks like a zigzag part without being defined. If you want, you could adjust the parting straight down the middle, to the side, or zigzagged, whatever you prefer. Mm -hmm. 
The next Pinterest style I'm trying out are these 90s vibe messy curly buns and I just love how her curls look in the shape of this hairstyle. It looks effortless and put together all at the same time. I left my hair in the high pigtails and am wrapping the length of my hair into a bun towards my face. I left the ends towards the outside of my head to replicate the style. I put a hair tie to keep the bun in place and after I cut the buns where they needed to be, I just bobby pin them into a more rounder shape. Surprisingly, this is one of my favorite looks so far. I thought it wouldn't suit me but it was really cute and fun to wear. This fourth hairstyle is inspired by Gabrielle Union and her crew from the original Bring It On movie and this look is pretty iconic. When I found this on Pinterest, it gave me a bit of that early 2000s nostalgia and oddly enough, with how easy this is to recreate, I never thought to do this style with my curls. In the picture, they had straightened hair that was curled and it was very picture perfect, basically a classic cheerleader hairstyle, but I thought it would look good on naturally curly hair too, even without smoothing it down. After carefully untying each pigtail and without ripping your hair out for frustration gather all your curls towards the top of your head but not like a pineapple more towards the back and i left face framing curls in the front of my head to make it more of an interesting look tiny place with a hair tie and that's it it's super easy and simple and it's such a classic style that looks amazing with curly hair i think it looks great without wetting and smoothing it out This Pinterest hairstyle is giving pure island girl vibes and while my curls are still in the high ponytail, I flipped my hair forward and pulled it into a loose bun with a hair tie. Grabbing a hair scarf, I folded it in half to form a triangle and I flipped it so that the widest part was at the base of my head, tied it down, and folded the back part of the scarf. As I did that, I fluffed out my bun to give it more shape and volume. To create a much larger bow in the front, instead of tying it into a regular bow, tie it into half a bow on one side and then spread that part of the bow out to make it look as big as possible. Then I folded the other part of the scarf and tucked it into the opposite side, mimicking a bow-like shape. Make sure to tuck the back of the scarf as well. This is one of those looks I've been looking at on my Pinterest board and meaning to try but I never got around to it because it looked like it might be complicated. Turns out it's actually pretty easy. Not as easy as the other ones but very very much beginner friendly. There are tons of images of this curly hairstyle all over Pinterest and with good reason because this looks amazing on curly hair. Most of them usually sleek the front part down first, tying it tight with a hair tie and then clipping it up, but if you know me by now, you know I'm not doing all that. I simply split my hair half up half down, leaving my front curls out and twist the top half a couple of times, take a claw clip, place it on the twist to keep the hair in place, flip my top hair back over the clip. It's so simple and easy. Just a tip though, make sure you put the claw clip high enough so that you can really get a good shape for this style. For this Pinterest look, we are going to utilize our claw clips once again, but this time clip all of our curls into an effortless updo. I'm doing the same thing I did for the previous style, but I'm twisting my entire head of curls up using the same claw clip as before, putting it on top to keep the updo in place. And I love this clip in particular because it's sturdy, it has a cheetah print pattern. That part is also made out of satin instead of just regular plastic. This hairstyle is by far the easiest style to do and the style I like to wear the most throughout the week because it is in tights and it's a cute way to still show off your curls without wearing all of your hair down. Subscribe, like, and share this video if you enjoyed it. Is there any style that's your favorite? Go ahead and comment in the comment section below. I really love to know. As always, I'm sending you all the love, light, and good vibes, and I will see you in the next one. Creating a curly hair routine with DOI products can be a little bit tricky. So today I'm gonna share how I take care of my curly hair using DOI products, and also how I figure out which products to make and use for each wash day. A lot of people have different opinions on what you should be doing to wash your hair. Some people are like, 
I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not one of those kinds of people. The primary reason why is because your scalp needs to be properly cleansed with something that can remove dirt and build up and conditioner just does not do the job 